Hi friends, welcome back. Uh, just me today. Uh, and I am gonna try my best to build a sleeper platform for the C10 right behind me. Um, I am not good with wood or have done very little wood making. Not that this is gonna require too much skill. Um, but basically, uh, I'm in luck because the building behind this building uh, is a shop that my dad runs his business out of that has all sorts of scrap wood, two by fours and plywood and shit. So I'm gonna try to make do with all that because it's free for me. Uh, so anyways, I'm gonna do some measuring. Um, let me show you kind of what I'm thinking and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so uh, there she is in all of her glory. Um, right now I'm going to measure from here to there and I'm going to plan to make two support beams that go across to either side. They're going to lay on the wheel well. Um, there's like a gap there that's just wide enough for a two by four to sit in looks like. So I'm going to measure that, see how that works out and then probably build some support beams on either side of that to sit right here to support that. Uh, it might require more than just one on each side, we'll see. And then we'll do a support beam right in the middle um, to, be, to build the foundation, and then do some crossbars, then plywood on top, and then hopefully um, that will leave some two, a gap here and a gap here for some uh, cabinets that are not gonna be fancy at all. I'm gonna have them just pull out on uh, this rubber mat. So like I said, uh, very basic. Um, if you know anything about sleeper platforms or these camper, truck camper builds, they can get uh, anywhere from the basics like this to very, very, very nice. There are people out there that know way more than I do. So if, you watch, if you're watching this to learn how to do a really fancy build, this is not it. This is gonna be very basic um, with as few amount of tools and pieces of wood as I can muster. So um, why I'm doing this though is that I've had this grand plan to take this truck on a maiden voyage. Um, so this week Dan and I are gonna be shooting some videos um, to get this truck up and running, thermostat, full fluids, all, you know, you name it, we're gonna do full inspection. We've already got a bunch of parts for that. Um, but then I'm gonna take this truck from Kansas City to Emporia, Kansas where I am volunteering um, at the Dynamic Discs Open, which is a PDGA uh, major tournament where I'll be scorekeeping. Um, so I'll also record that for some other stuff, not really truck worthy, but anyways, this is gonna be a good test for this truck because that's like a two hour drive there, mainly highways two, hour, two hours back to see how she handles and how she sleeps. So I have no idea if this is waterproof, if there's any cracks or damage in the actual shell itself that will leak, uh, there might be some rain this weekend. So um, uh, yeah, we'll see. So anyways, I'm gonna get started on this. I'm gonna eat back in the wood shop and uh, we'll go from there. Bye. All right, here we are in uh, said workshop. All the wood in the world, thanks to my dad's job. So what I'm gonna be using for this build is just these two by fours. Um, I just measured those outside beams that I was telling you about. Uh, seemed like they were like right at 95 and a half. Thankfully these are 96 inches, so I'm gonna cut off half an inch off of each of those. And I'll use the scraps from the other ones to do the middle beam, support beams, yada yada. And then we're gonna use um, this plywood for the actual platform itself uh, above the foundation. So I'll do those cuts real quick and I'll see you back up at the truck to see if it fits. All right, uh, sidebars are done. Um, that took more effort than I would have liked to admit. I had to do uh, shave off just like fucking a hair's worth of uh, cut. And then I just mimicked it on the other side. Um, they're sitting on the wheel well, like I said. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this gap right there. Fill that in with a two by four. Um, and then maybe, I don't know, I'll see how I feel, but maybe, wow. Um, this is great content, sorry y'all. So um, 
maybe put one there and then an, an additional one coming from this seam here just to give some additional support. But I really don't know if I need that because that wheel well is supporting it a ton. There's a lot of surface area there. So anywho, gonna measure that, cut that, and then I'll see you in a second. All right, hi, I'm back. Um, I'm worse than this than I would like to admit for it really just being cutting and screwing, but um, we've got the side supports done with the two legs on each side. Um, they're wedged in there pretty good. Um, well, I say that and it wiggles. Um, so I think that right there should be enough to support down. Um, now I'm gonna measure um, some cross supports uh, and then put those in and then and then did the middle support. I don't know, I'm just kind of winging this. So I might regret that order later, but my thought is, is that if I do the cross supports now, then I'll have something to measure on and then secure the middle support to once they're all in there. Um, I think, I might, um, let's see. I'm gonna have to bring some of this off screen. I don't know. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in a sec. Okay, update. Uh, I realize this is just not great content, but I screwed down three middle supports. Um, here, let me turn it around. You can probably see from this angle that behind the wheel well is slightly shorter than the front. So I might put an additional cross one between the one in the front of the truck and the one in the middle. Uh, right now, I'm about to mount this middle support brace um, exactly halfway underneath. And then once that's on, mounted on the underneath, I'll put legs under that to give it um, the additional middle support it needs. And then once I, I do that, then I should be good to cut the OSB and try to put it on top. So stay tuned. All right, hell yeah. Uh, way too out of breath for what I just did, but hey, look at that. I think the foundation is done. Um, I added the middle brace um, with four legs underneath it to give it some structure, and this thing is in there. Um, I have not laid on it clearly because there's no USB on it, but I'm gonna go cut that now, measure it, and then I imagine there's some tweaks I'm gonna have to do, like up at the very front. I'm not gonna crawl in there right now because I'm tired, but there's a gap between the bed itself and that first crossbar, which I feel like um, if we're sleeping and something might slip behind there between underneath the OSB, it's gonna be a huge bitch to get. All right, welcome back to day two of uh, Todd doesn't know what he's doing. So uh, I don't forget, or I don't remember where I left off yesterday with y'all, but anyways, I added two additional supports on the underside, and then I'm currently in the process of, let me show you real quick, currently about to cut the OSB platforms. Um, I mentioned yesterday that there are some notches in the actual truck bed itself that I'm gonna have to cut out, one there, one there. This is close to the actual width of the notch, but I'm gonna cut a little wider because after I make these cuts, I am going to carpet these. Uh, with that massive roll of carpet I got from Home Depot. Uh, way too much carpet, but it will be plenty to cover both of those. And then once I have them covered, um, I'll fit them. And then if they fit properly, then we'll uh, go ahead and just nail that down with some uh, medium hold nails. And then uh, we're getting real close after that. Um, also, quick update on the drawer system I was thinking about. I don't have the time or the energy to build like effective doors, so what I'm gonna do is just use a bin system. Um, I bought some rope, so I'll have a couple. Right now, I've only got two on each side, but these bins will slide back, hold all of our stuff, and then I can pull them forward with the rope. And then I bought a little uh, rope cleat to go on the front here to tie the excess rope so it doesn't uh, get all tangled in a mess when I'm driving around. And then I'm gonna put this all together and see how it sleeps and fits and stuff. So stay tuned. Let me uh, cut this OSB real quick and then uh, I'll, so I'll see you in a second. All right. Uh, I want my mic. 
which that was loud for the people. I'll just hold it then. Uh, I'm done, I think. So there she is. Uh, I'll turn the camera around real quick so you can look at that, not my face. Um, okay, so I carp don't mind the carpet job. It's bad, but it will do. Um, I cut those notches into the OSB. They fit fine after a couple trial and errors. Um, I was thinking about nailing or uh, screwing these tops down. I don't think I need to. I'm mainly concerned that if I do that um, and something like I need to attend to something back there or something slides back there, I can just pop off the top um, and you'll see like, you know, once they're kind of uh, punched down, the, they sit pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, there's that. So um, I think that's all I really need to do. I'm gonna do some final touches. I've got some uh, lights that I'm gonna kind of stick up here because that one currently doesn't work to give some ambient lighting. Um, then I'll build my pulley system. I can record that too, see how that end up, ends up working out with those four bins. Uh, and that's that. So, I mean, if this if this proves anything, it's that any, anyone can do this. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just flying by the seat of my pants the whole time and just guesstimating everything. Uh, a whole lot of recutting. The whole, what's the saying? Uh, measure twice, cut once. Did not apply here. Uh, anyways, I'm going to do the final touches. I'll see you in a second and we'll wrap this bad boy up. Guys, I did it. We're done. Look at her. Um, let's touch on a few things before I wrap this video up. Uh, first off, uh, this is the bin I decided to go with. So you'll see I have like 12 uh, inches of height, 22 inches of width to work with. I really wasn't a bin to fill that negative space perfectly, but I've got a couple of these that will slide in nicely uh, without hitting anything. I decided not to nail this down. I don't know if I've said that or not. Um, mainly just for ease of access for the stuff underneath, but they fit nice. Um, and there's our mattress brought to you by Hest. Um, it is expensive, but it is very nice and feels great laying on it. Um, it is folded right now. It will unfold into a queen size, which fills that space perfectly. So um, that's that. There's a sleeping platform for you built uh, with two by fours. And I think I've said it's OSB a bunch in this video. It is not OSB. My dad uh, corrected me. It is plywood. So uh, that's that. So thanks for watching. I, the only last couple of things I'm going to do, which I don't really feel like need uh, to be videoed. I bought some like sticky uh, battery powered lights. I'm going to stick up there. Um, and maybe do a little bit of cleaning. But there's a sleeper platform for you. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below or uh, DM us personally and I'll try to answer the best I can. I know there's 2 million videos out there that cover something very close to this. So. If you decide to stick around and watch this, then thank you guys so much. Um, I am going to get started on our next video, which is uh, the full inspection and uh, engine work on this bad boy. So um, stay tuned for that one. But uh, for now, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.